Hi, welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Prophet Clovis Abai, and by the grace of God, I am the senior pastor and founder of a, a very dynamic church right here in America, in um, Heightsville, Maryland, called New Life City. Um, I want to talk to you today about the love of God. The Bible says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Um, maybe you are listening to me right now. You are overwhelmed with guilt. You are overwhelmed with um, self-pity. You are finding yourself in that position where you feel like you're not good enough for God. And you feel like God is um, utterly um, disappointed in you. And you just feel like maybe you should stay at your one corner. You feel like maybe you should just leave this whole Christianity alone. Probably you're not ready for it. You've taken too many wrong turns in life. You've uh, taken so many wrong decisions. And you're wondering if God is even going to find any pleasure in you. This video is for you. I need you to understand that the Bible says, um, if we confess our sins and forsake them, he is faithful and just to forgive us and not just to forgive us, but to also cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, God's ability to forgive you is not based on you. It is based on his loving kindness and tender mercies. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. His mercies are new every morning. That means one mercy for one morning. It, it means um, when you feel guilty, remember that there is mercy for you. When you feel like you're not good enough, remember that there is mercy for you. When you feel like you're not qualified to earn his care, to earn um, his attention, to, to receive answers to your prayers, remember that his mercies are new every morning. There is mercy made available for you even today, even right now. And that it is possible for you to reconcile and renew your alliance with God and ensure that the connectivity is restored. I want you to understand that God does not reject people just because they have done the wrong things. We reject ourselves because we are not in alignment to what God wants us to do. It is difficult because there is something God has planted inside of us, which is what is called the inner weakness, the voice of the conscience. It has a way. It always makes us feel uneasy because we are taking the route of unholiness and yet wanting to relate with the God of holiness. But then the best you can do for yourself is not to run away. Remember the prodigal son ran away. He, he thought and thought and thought and finally resolved to coming back home as a servant, not as a son. But God is saying that if you return, I will by no means cast you away. God is saying to you today that I cannot reject you because you did the wrong thing. I cannot reject you because you got into drugs and drug addiction. I cannot reject you because you got pregnant and, and had a baby. I cannot reject you just because people are disappointed in you. I can't push you away when you are trying to come back to me just because you did what I don't like. God is saying, I am not trying to get back at you. I am trying to get back to you. God is saying, I'm not mad at you. I am mad about you. I am looking for a way to save you. I am looking for a way to restore you. I am looking for a way to capture you again. Remember, the Bible says he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Some of you listening to me now, you are entrapped in your own guilt. You are prisoners of your, your own complexes and you've become um, inferior. You've had some level of inferiority complex and low self-esteem because of the things you've done and because of how people around you have handled them. Everybody seems to be disappointed but God is saying I understand things have gone bad you've taken the wrong turn you've met the wrong people and dodged into the wrong activities and these have messed things up for you but I am willing to pick you up again I am willing to sanctify you oh my God who am I talking to I am willing to restore you and empower power you by my spirit such that you don't fall into your temptations anymore such that the same things that used to imprison you they don't have the chance to imprison you again so he's saying that you don't need to run away because you feel that way all you need is to come closer when you come closer i'm gonna pick you up i'm gonna clean you up and i'm gonna glorify and anoint you you become a sanctified and a renewed creature in christ I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but if you want to build that relationship again, if you feel like you've moved far away from him because you got drowning and drowning and drowning in your sins and you feel like you're not in that position where you should even open your mouth to make a prayer. I want you to know that God is willing to listen to you. He is your father. He understands your struggles and he is willing to hear you even now. And so if you want to talk to him, you want to fix things up, you want to tell him that God, I'm coming back home like the prodigal son that went away. This is the moment for you. I want you to just bow your head.
and listen to this prayer and repeat it after me from the depths of your heart. If you come to God, he cannot reject you. Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you today through the blood of Jesus. I believe that he died for my sins, ah, for my sanctification. I believe that he died for my sins, that I should be made clean. And today I make use of that blood. Through faith, I declare that I'm a new person. Through faith, I declare that I am born again. Through faith, I declare that I am a believer. Through faith, I declare that I'm a child of God. I am no more a victim of my sins. I am no more a victim of my addictions. I am no more a victim of my yesterday. I am no more a victim of my mistakes. But I know that you can renew a man. And you are about to renew me right now. I'm taking a new turn in my life. God is my everything. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your mercies and thank you for your grace. In the name of Jesus. If you prayed that prayer or if this video made sense to you, drop a comment below and tell me your testimony. Heaven is rejoicing over your re reconciliation with your Heavenly Father. Heaven is rejoicing. I want you to drop a comment and tell me your experience and share with us your testimony to encourage somebody. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click like click um, put a comment and go ahead and click the subscription button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always going to be notified whenever we put up new contents your spiritual life and your work with god is going to change you need this kind of a spiritual atmosphere where you keep hearing spiritual things that will build your faith and cause you to become tenacious in your work with god god bless you and see you around bye bye